Welcome to our tech troubleshooting video. Today, we're tackling a puzzling issue that many developers encounter. Our viewer is facing a problem with COA's context status not being sent to the client as expected. Let's dive into the details of this intriguing question. All right, guys, we're back with another technical question. I'll be going through the question, the answer, and I'm hoping, just like me, you stay a little bit crazy to get that answer all the way through. Guys, let's get started. Let's analyze the issue with COA's context status not being sent to the client. First, we have a route defined for handling file requests. In this route, we attempt to read a PDF file based on the client's request. If the file doesn't exist, we want to set the response status to 500. However, the problem arises because the response is already being sent before the error handler can set the status code. This is why you see a 404 status instead of the expected 500. To fix this, we need to ensure that we handle the error before attempting to send the response body. We can do this by checking if the file exists before trying to read it. Now when a file doesn't exist, we can set the appropriate status code and send a clear response back to the client. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. COA has built-in handling for the Enoent error, which indicates a file doesn't exist. When this error occurs, COA automatically sets the status to 404, which is appropriate for missing files. If you want to change the status code, there's a workaround. You can modify the error code to something like EnoExist, tricking COA into returning a different status. Another option is to check if the file exists before trying to read it. You can use methods like fs.exists, fs.access, or fs.stat for this. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To fix the issue with COA's ctx.status not being sent to the client, you can handle file reading errors properly. When an error occurs, set the response status to 500. Here's a code snippet to illustrate the solution. Use a read stream for the file, and listen for errors. And that's it guys. I hope that's found the answer that you were looking for and you got through to that solution. If you did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time, you have a technical issue, I'll see ya. Have a good one.